Hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to resolve a doubt which has come from one of our viewers. What is the difference between where and dynamic keyword in C Sharp? So, in case you are new to dynamic and where keyword, what my suggestion is to go and log in into the Quest One VD account and watch these two videos. First video is what is dynamic keyword and how it is different from reflection. And second video is what is the use of where keyword. So, in case you are new to where and dynamic, I would suggest you to first go through these two videos. But in this video, I would like to concentrate on only the differences between where keyword and dynamic keyword. If I try to put the difference in one simple sentence, where is early binded. In other words, it is statically checked while dynamic is late binded or in other words, you know, it is dynamically evaluated. So let me do a quick demo here to make you understand the difference between where and dynamic keyword. So for example, now take the situation, you know, where we have where X is equal to string one. So you can see here. I have defined a variable with the data type where and I'm assigning him string one. And after that, the next line, what I do is I grab the length of the string. So I say x dot length, x dot length is equal to, to this length variable. So whatever is the length of the string, I'm trying to push it in, into this variable here, an integer data type called as length. So the first thing you must have noticed here is when I typed this second line, right? And when I said dot here, you saw the intelligence coming up. In other words, you know, he knew that there was a length property in this X variable, right? And if I move my mouse here, you can see it is saying that this X is of string data type. You can see I have moved my mouse here and it is saying that this X is a local variable and the data type is string. In other words, the compiler figured out that this X is a string data type. So he looked at the right hand side data and he figured out that this X is a string data type. In other words, where keyword is early bounded or I'll say it is statically checked, you know. So in other words, you know, the, the time I write the code and I compile it, it knows what the data type is. But now let's look at the dynamic example. So let's say now I say here dynamic Y is equal to string one. And as I've done in the previous example, now let me go ahead and take the length of the string here. So I'll say y dot. You can see when I type the dot here, he does not know what this data type is. So I'm going to go and type the length as it is with the L capital, right? And if, and if I move my mouse here, he says that this is dynamic. In other words, he's still not able to figure out that this is a string data type or some other data type, right? Now let me go and run this program here. So I'm going to go and put a debug point here. And I'm going to go and say start. So there goes my debug point. So I go step by step here. So this gives me length seven and that is right. Okay. Now let's look at the dynamic keyword here. So I go here. So in the Y, you can see that there is string one, right? Uh, but you know, you can see here, you know, he still does not know this Y has a length or not, right? So here now what happens is this, this Y dynamically goes and uses reflection internally and tries to figure out if there is a property called as length and then he tries to invoke it. So when I go and do this, right, it will actually give me the proper value seven. But you know, this invocation here is dynamic, it's runtime. So in other words, you know, dynamic is late bounded. So everything happens during the runtime. So in simple words, now let's say I make a small mistake here. For example, uh, let's say I, I make this L small. Now there is no property in the string data type which has you know length with a small l but what happens is because this is dynamically checked right when i do a build you know it actually gives me build succeeded so if you see down below he has given me a build succeeded but now if i try to go and run this so let's say if i go and click on the start here and let's say i go in the debug mode so now if i go here and uh, go line by line so you can see here until this point until this point there is no error but now the Y does not know he has a length with a small L or not. So now if he tries to go and invoke this length property, now definitely there is no length property with a small L in the string uh, class, right? So it should give me an error here. So you can see here, there is the error. And there the error is, you can see clearly it says that I'm not able to find a length property with a small L in the string class, right? So in simple words, what is the difference between uh, the where keyword and dynamic keyword? Where is early bounded? It is statically checked. It is checked during the compile time itself. In the compile time itself, 
the left hand side data type is figured out by looking at the right hand side data while dynamic keyword is late bounded you know the methods the properties you know everything is checked during runtime and dynamic keyword uses reflection so i hope that you enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to understand what is the difference between dynamic and where keyword in c sharp thank you so much